Tony and Austin with the Oil and Gas 360, and we are here at Intercom's 2017 Oil and Gas Conference, and we're joined by Chris Neal. He is the president of Fracture ID. Welcome, Chris. Thank you very much. All right, so Fracture ID is known as an industry leader in drill bit geomechanics. Can you talk about what exactly drill bit geomechanics is and how the oil and gas operators can use that? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we put a very simple instrument down a well bore, put it right behind the drill bit, and we're measuring the accelerations of the drill bit. And from that, through some fairly complex math, we can get to uh, an estimate of the mechanical properties of the rock. So we can tell you how hard or soft the rock is. Uh, and we can also tell you where you've intersected natural fractures. And the, the advantage that we have is that because it's a very simple passive instrument, uh, we can provide these mechanical properties at a tenth of what standard industry practice would be. So we're very economical. So what's kind of the transition here is that the industry's had a, um, access to this information before, but at very high cost and some ah. risk to the wellbore. So what we're presenting is access to this data stream at a very, very reasonable cost, so rather than acquiring the data one out of every 200 wells, the economics drive this so that the operator can gather this on every well they drill in unconventionals. Interesting. So what this now allows the operator to do is rather than using very large scale, low resolution measurements to try to drive where they drill and complete wells, they can use our very high resolution data to actually guide uh, individual well completions and, and uh, such. Let's talk about more specifics then. Do you see uh, drill bit geomechanics uh, helping operating companies improve unconventional well economics? It sounds like yes. Absolutely. And this has been the whole drive of the company is to provide a data stream that at, in the first order allows operating companies to optimize individual stages where right now most stages are done geometrically and so there's no understanding of or information that's used to put these perf stages, perf clusters in certain rock types. So it's kind of a random kind of uh, placement. What we can do is guide the placement so that each of the perf clusters has the equal probability of initiating a fracture and the fracture going out into the formation. Oh, wow. So from that, we're hoping you can actually contact more rock more consistently down the well. So we can maybe improve well economics that way. The other thing, as we start to look, we're, we're actually just starting a uh, project where we're going to monitor 20 wells in a vertical stack. So it's okay. one section wide, two sections long. Each of these wells, 10,000 feet long, we're going to monitor every one of them and we're gonna actually be able to map this cube of rock in such a resolution the industry's never seen before. And from that, you can start to look at well-to-well -well interaction, you can look at pressure hits on offset wells, you can look at the effects of depletion from offset wells, and actually really start to take into account the variability of the reservoir on a scale the industry's never been able to do before at this price point. So all those kids that said, I'll never use this math when I grow up, they were wrong, apparently. They were. Actually, <laughs> we have some absolutely brilliant scientists. And, and the physics behind this, the, the concept is quite simple. The physics behind it and the math behind it is actually quite complex. Yeah, it's wild. It's yep. just uh, unbelievable what you can do now. The technology has come so far in the last few years. So Fracture ID is involved in the Horizontal Reservoir Characterization Consortium, Midland Basin. Can you talk about... Uh, who is in it and what you're doing, because that's a big name. Absolutely, it's a big name. And actually, um, what's not mentioned is, this is a partnership with Core Laboratories. Oh yeah. Um, uh, you know, very big, uh, well-respected company. Yeah. And what Core Labs has done is mastered the art of a consortium, where okay. typically uh, operating companies are very kind of cloistered with their data and don't like to share it very much. But what Core Lab has been able to do is get, uh, in the Midland Basin, 53 operating companies to take two cores each and then wireline data and put it into this database so they can all look at the data. Oh. So the, what we're doing though is uh, all of this data is in vertical wells. What we'll be doing in this consortium is logging four horizontals for each one of the operating companies that's participating in this kind of sub-consortium, if you will. Mm -hmm. And in that, we're gonna do two wells where we 
geoengineer the perf locations, okay. and two wells they do just like they normally do. Ah. So first order we get to look at variability across the basin in yeah. these horizontals versus the verticals, and also we get to test the concept of does this stress balancing of perf clusters actually increase productivity, but not doing it just on one or two wells, but doing it on 50 to 100 wells across the basin, so we actually statistically validate whether or not this is something that can improve productivity. So wow. we're really excited about this, and if this works, we're going to expand it out to the Delaware Basin and a lot of the other basins that CoreLab has uh, a consortium built around. Exciting times. All right, so let's talk about uh, Fracture ID presenting. I, I, you just mentioned Core, and I know Core has got three big things they're going to talk about at Intercom's Oil Field Tech and Innovation Day. So. Uh, is this what you'll be presenting? Give us some more specifics, kind of a look ahead. Absolutely, and it is my Vice President of Business Development that's going to be doing the presentation. Okay. And um, he's really going to be talking about how we're working for almost 40 operating companies now. Uh, we're monitoring 20 to 30 wells a month so far. And he's talking about how we're going to expand this out. We, we see this as a service that we think is going to be broadly applicable to really most of the companies that are presenting here mm -hmm. and um, how we see the use of this data and how we want to talk with more companies about both uh, our consortia databases with the core lab and also kind of generally the value of what we're doing across the industry. Neat. Wow. Anything else you want to add? You know, just that we're, we're really excited to, to bring this, if you will, it's, it's, a, it's a whole new data set to the industry and the resolution, it's going to change the way companies do business and um, my background is reservoir engineering and I'm truly excited about the the way that this data is going to be able to inform geological completions, reservoir, petrophysical decisions at a scale that's really just never been able to be done before and so these, these larger scale developments that you're seeing in places like the Midland Basin we think are going to really uh, modeling this in three dimensions geologically and geomechanically. It is the future of our industry and we, we hope to be a part of that. Well, it's very interesting stuff. I know you're based right here in Denver, so looking forward to following you and seeing how everything goes in the next year. Thank you year. very much. Thank you, Chris. Good. I'm Angie Austin with Oil & Gas 360 here at Intercom's 2017, pardon me, Oil & Gas Conference. And uh, Chris Neal, uh, president of Fracture ID, and looking forward to seeing what happens in the next year with their company. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much.